fresh from fresh and fit, he got got. Apparently, he has knocked up his girlfriend and uh, is basically begging her to get an abortion. I want the baby because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. <laughs> no. I don't understand how you could go on a on a on a sugar daddy site and think that this is just the fact that they're on that says enough. Well, no you can't power. be out there talking about how these women are fraudulent and they're, they're they they have no respect, and then you and then you the, doing on, the same, and you're on a sugar you're a like, facade. God, you're a facade. Well, it's a facade. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. So, uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolutions being podcasted. I'm excited, man. Uh, mm -hmm. And and disappointed. Oh, uh, why? I, What's going on, Dante? Fresh from fresh and fit. He got God. Oh, my goodness. I find that hard to believe. He's such a man's man, and he's such a he's man. alpha male dating coach and life coach or whatever. How, that, how, how did he get God? How, how did fresh and fit? He's... That would mean that he's like a fraud, and I can't believe that, Dante. Oh, that fresh and fit are, so are full of believe. shit. So hard to believe. And then what, what gets me is when their fans jump into the comments and tell me, he said this, he said, shut the fuck up. Hmm. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Them dudes is kids. They're kids. They don't get it. The, 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 the basic premise is they're figuring it out, and maybe when they're little older they'll figure it out maybe but i don't know because i don't think they'll figure it out they're nowhere no. close to figuring it out because they're too busy trying to uh cosplay as relationship experts given horrendous relationship advice uh and a lot of it is just hating on women as if that's going to fix things but that's a whole other subject altogether but and they're but, adversarial they're adversarial yeah. to, to to women i don't know you don't like women um that's going to come through too but yeah. you can like women and just not them well, let them be reckless and, and I, abusive. I think the thing is they blame women instead of blaming themselves and fixing themselves. It's easier to just blame women and be angry at women. And and it's about fixing your that's this podcast is about fixing the relationship from the really? man's perspective. It is making better men. You as a person. Yeah. So it's funny. It's our fault. It's always our fault. Everything that yeah, goes on wrong yeah, in the relationship is our fault. Right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Harry. Go no, go for it. You, it's your, it's your statement. Well, well here's it. It is your fault. But one of the things that when uh, back in the day, and this is another thing we get over and over again, and everybody starts talking about black Philip, and they start talking about it. Um, you know, Patrice as if as if he was immortal, as if he didn't make mistakes. But here's here's the thing about this. I say this all the time. When we were back in the days, we used to talk. People refer to the old Black Phillip show, and they talk about. I don't, I'm kind of a deer hunter. I'm a, I, all of that is bullshit. That's what we were thinking about. We were trying to categorize women and and make this broad based generalization of 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 there there are different kinds of women, and, and I'm sure there are some women that are more masculine or less masculine. But I but I here's what I will tell you. A bunny could be a bear and a bear could be a bunny and anywhere in between that. Women are a reflection, a direct reflection of the guy she's sleeping with. And so when you're not tolerant of this masculine behavior, women can be just as much a bunny as as a as a, anybody as a bear to somebody else. And it's so ridiculous to think that you can put women in these categories. Women are usually, first of all, women are malleable and they attach themselves emotionally to the guy. And what the guy gives off is a direct reflection of that. So if you're, if you're, I mean, and I, you well, know. People treat you the way you let them treat you. The way you the allow, way you allow them. them. And that's never is that more true than a, than a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. So and, if you allow a woman to be reckless and and abuse verbally abusive or physically abusive, that's what she's going to do. But if you don't tolerate that, and she's it ain't gonna happen. Around, it's not going to happen. And even if and he, let me say this, I think that there are some women who are so toxic, and some men who are so toxic that they don't know how to be anything else but what they are. There are guys who are physically abusive that have learned in the course of their life that this is the way you express emotion, express love, because this is 
because they grew up with fucked up parents who taught them that. And they've never really challenged their thinking to think that maybe it's uh, it's it's a little crazy. I mean, the only reason why people are not beating their kids now is because you can get arrested for it. But the bottom line is for years, I mean, and there's still people telling other people that they need to beat their kids, that you would think you could beat somebody to teach them how to be nonviolent. It's the same thing that I say. It's like you you never should call somebody up to tell them you break up with them. Right. Oh, that, no, that you don't want to talk to them. Yeah, I, I'm That's calling a, yeah. to tell you, you that I'm blocking yeah. your number. <laughs> yeah. I'm blocking your number, calling somebody up and going, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm blocking your number. Yeah. Defeats the purpose. But, okay, so fresh and fit. Uh, fresh, of, I, I forget which one is which, which one is Hall and which one is Oats. <laughs> and which one is... The light one. Uh, fresh is the... Uh, which one's Big Boy and which one's Andre 3000, whatever. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, fresh, a uh, fresh and fit. Uh, he's uh, in this article from Dreads World. Apparently, he has knocked up his girlfriend and uh, is basically begging her to get an abortion. And she has leaked his calls and DMs. Um, so this is a mess all over the place in every essence. So I'm going to read this article here from Dreads World, uh, dreadinfo.com. Uh, Fresh from Fresh and Fits podcast exposed in leaked phone calls and DMs asking his girlfriend for an abortion. Uh, Walter Weeks, a.k.a. Fresh from the controversial Fresh and Fit podcast, is currently trending after being exposed in a leaked phone call asking his girlfriend for an abortion. She recorded the conversation and leaked it alongside their DMs for everyone to see. I want the baby because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. <laughs> no. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. <laughs> I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing. Okay. I want to keep the baby. Okay. <laughs> Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. Okay, well, that you seems... Know? I like his counterpoint in that is like, well, <laughs> I, I, I... This is a negotiation where he has zero power in the negotiation. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I'm just saying I don't want any kids. But I, want, I also I'm, like okra. I like yeah. okra. Both of those things are not going to stop this woman from having the baby. Okay, so... Now, what can you... And um, what you going to do to me? Nothing. Why did I do anything to you? Nothing. Why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you going to deal with this? By by saying, I don't want a baby? That's all? <laughs> yeah. That's my I mean, counter. Yeah. To the doctor, I guess. To the doctor. Oh, what? So you want I'm not getting ready. You want abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? Ooh, why you shot at the no, club? Like, there's no way that that's true. But then it's like, oh wow, like. Wait, how is it so not I true? Think about it, it's mean to be. It's mean to be. God right? wants to, God wants you to have the baby. That's right. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Yes, God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened, and then you're relate in a relate. You're fucking me for a month. And I'm pregnant. Wow. What does that mean? That ain't much time. Like it, now, I just think about if, like, if you force me to kill the baby, then you're a sin. You are the sin. We already sin by having sex. That's but a good. It's too late now. Good yeah. counter. Yes, that is a good counter. If you love what we're doing here, go to Patreon.com. It's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips. And also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archive starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. Do you have the old simp stuff he did on the, on Fresh? Let me find that it. Man. He had many, many. He just uh, shot the club up. He shot yeah. the club. But that's also why. That's also why you, if you don't want to have kids, then you have to take precautions. What I mean, you're just gambling. What What did you think it was going to be? 
You want to have a hot girl summer? All right, bitch, you're going to have a bunch of hot girl summers by yourself. It's embarrassing for a man to marry a hoe and try to turn her into a housewife. If you actually wait for one of these girls, bro, you take it seriously. She can't have a pair bond. So what happens is you wife her up, you take her in, and she's hella, hella muscle on, on her body. You know what I'm saying? And at that point, what, what do you get? A used, beat up product. Like, but you can't even be a fucking decent woman and not be a slut? Fuck out of here, bro. No, you dumb bitch. I'm not fucking insecure. I'm very secure in my goddamn confidence. I don't want to fucking wife up no hoe. All right? Bitch, I'm not going to the Lamborghini dealership with 300 bands for a Lambo with 200,000 miles on it, bro. It's bullshit. I need you guys to hold these women accountable, too. They got to meet your metric. We don't want hoes, okay? You want to be a hoe? That's fine. But you got to lay in your fucking bed and sleep there. Most guys, in reality, are not going to accept you for being a hoe and put a ring on it. It's always going to fucking bother them. Okay. Don't, don't, All I'm going to say now, niggas, my turn. That's, you know, that's the thing that's really sad. It's just the, the pain of that, the pain of them. Um, um, lacking seriousness, lacking confidence. So what is Lamborghini? 300 bands, 200 miles an hour, 1,000 miles on it, not 200. You, you have to be, if you haven't, if you're not principled and you, you everything that you believe is attached to the money that you have, your watch, your chain, all of this stuff, then, and, and you're putting like, think about how horrible these women are, are attractive women. But think about what dirt bags and just what kind of human beings. They're just horrible human beings. And I get that there's youth. They're young and they're youth. They will all learn to regret this. This will this lifestyle and this these beliefs. Are, and what don't come out in the wash comes out in the rinse. When you they, say horrible, what do you mean? Like, because what, their life is horrible, it, it, their behavior is selfish, they're selfish and self centered. And what can I get about people? They're unkind, sure. They're, they're well, everything is transactional because everything literally transactional. everything about their love life or is transactional about their sex life, anyway. Transactional, yeah. And 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 what's happening is Bresh is is communicating. That he's open for the transaction. That's why that's why laying the five bricks is so important because it teaches you how to talk to women without it being transactional. You you don't look thirsty. This dude looks thirsty. There's I, thank God that they uh, that they earn money because they would be lonely. I mean, they're probably still lonely. I mean, you could look. You could go. There's chicks who go who get paid. And the guy, you know, get paid for guys to sheiks in Dubai to poop on them. So all these chicks that you see on this this, this belief system and that, that there's no substance in it, they're all girls who have substance in them. But if you're a guy who's just who's just plastic and, and has no integrity. Well, no you can't character. be out there talking about how these women are fraudulent and they're, they're, they, they have no respect. And then you and then you the, on, doing the same. And you're on a sugar you're a like, facade. God, You're a facade. Well, it's a facade. I don't understand how you could go on a on a on a sugar daddy site and think that this is just the fact that they're on that says enough. Says and that they're open. You're telling to it. other people how how other guys not to do it. Number one, and how to meet chicks. When what you're doing is you're buying chicks. That's what you're doing. You're buying women. That's it. But you're out here teaching uh, guys uh, how game. And how to meet women and why women are so Lambo, shitty and useless. Pay the bills. You can have anybody you want. And has, here's the thing. You can't. Because a, 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 a chick who does it is looking for some kind of character in a man. Some kind of ten toes down kind of dude. Honest, authentic, credible, empathetic. You're not going to find him at, You're not going to find him there. Because what he's even the ones, the guys that are on that are saying. I'm willing to pay. Fuck, overlook my flaws. Overlook my, I got money. You got money? I, you want money? I got money. Overlook my flaws. I don't know. I don't see how that goes. I just don't see how that works. I don't think, I don't see how you could go. I mean, it's, you're literally, you're fishing in the desert. You know, you're literally fishing in the desert for somebody with some kind of character and so on. And it's just what's what's really unfortunate is and it's that 
Yeah. There's so many guys that are hurting and they're listening to these dudes who are in the same pain as they are. And they're same fraudulent. Yeah. It's just they're misrepresenting themselves. They're just characters playing a part. And it's sad. It's sad, but it was everything we said. It, it's a, another one. Chalk, up, chalk more evidence up for us that they are, they're fraudulent and you shouldn't be listening to their relationship advice. They have no business giving turning. relationship I'm advice turning. to anybody. I think it's turning. I think, yeah. I, think, I think the tide is turning. Well, it always and does. I, you can't keep being fraudulent and not get caught. And it, it came back to out. burn them. It came back to burn them. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not even the stuff. That's the stuff we see. Yeah. God knows that this is going on regularly. You know, regularly. Yeah. I mean, man, the thing is painful to watch uh, that girl, him to go kiss her on the cheek and she... Dude, she doesn't want to call, bro. Honestly, she didn't want to do this live stream. She's doing this for me, so I appreciate her for that. <laughs> repulsed. She's repulsed. Even getting paid, I guess he didn't pay her enough. Yeah. Where she's well, not... I mean, she's not repulsed. It's just that she's she's brave. <laughs> Bravery is when, you, when you're disgusted and you're scared that you still step up. That's what brave. She's a brave young soul. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, bang that bell for us so that you know every time we put something up. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? Sexual revolution being podcasted. Don't forget to follow us on patreon.com slash uh, manschool202. Um, like us on all social media. Consultations at DanteNero.com. Click on consult. Harry at advice from Harry at gmail.com. Get at us, man. Please. We're making jokes of it, but man, it makes me feel bad. I wish I could talk to those dudes. Fresh and really? fit. Yeah. It doesn't would, matter. I, they wouldn't listen. They wouldn't listen because they're busy making money. Yeah. They only give a fuck about the money. That's yeah. all that this is about. If yeah. they could make money, they would do a fishing podcast if it made them money. That's what this is about. Yeah. That's it. Because they got it, baby. Appreciate y'all. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.